Hello beer tubers and welcome to yet another beer review with me Peter the Master Puppets. Today we're looking at another of the Amas Inner Series beers and this is actually the second one they released. This is the Amas Inner Series Lust. Pretty cool label on there. It's a quadruple on 9.2% alcohol, so a big beer. And I'm actually going to pair this with some food I'm going to have. I've been making a venison ragu for dinner tonight. And uh, it's actually made with beer, but it's made with uh, another quadruple, so that doesn't matter. Uh, but I thought I'd pair this with it, just a cheaper one from the store. And it says here on the back, This strong Belgian ale is so rich, sweet, and so luscious that we wouldn't hesitate calling it pure lust in a bottle. During the making of this beer, the general mood in the brew house turned somewhat sensual, if not downright erotic, and everybody involved in the brewing spontaneously engaged in heavy cheek kissing. <laughs> if it wasn't for the unexpected, unexpected ring of the doorbell, things could have gone even further. This beer is so lustful that we cannot vouch for the consequences if you serve this to your loved one over the can, uh, candlelight dinner. This may very well result in a lifelong payment of child support. Uh, we have brewed a beer with the most sensual of sugars we could find at our local grocery store. We were tempted to spice it up with well-renowned aphrodisiacs like Spanish fly or oysters, but frank frankly, we didn't see the need for it. Made with Pilsner Caramel Munich Melad Melanoidine, wheat chocolate malt, demerara sugar, and dark candy syrup, northern brewer, and sauce hops, and fermented with a well-known Trappist yeast. Should be interesting to see that if. It's, I think this is going to be the first Belgian style beer I have from Mama Boku. So, yeah, let's check out this quadruple. I'm going to be using my Mama Boku's glass for it, of course. Um, but uh, yeah, let's get poured. It's like that pretty traditional kind of quadruple color. It's got a like a darker. It almost looks like a really dark copper. I've seen darker quadruples than this, but it's like a nice dark copper color. Uh, a little bit of a ruby red. Hazy, not completely uh, cloudy, but there is yeast on the bottom of the bottle. One finger, nice looking off-white head. Let's take out the aroma. Hmm. Not as intense aroma as in like the Belgian Travis quadruples. I smell some toffee notes, some chocolate, um, dark caramel dark fruits, a little bit of that sweet sugary component, a little bit of like a, that dried darker fruit aroma on there. Maybe a little hint of cherry. Not the most complex quadruple I've smelled. A um, little bit of almost rye note in there or something. It's got like a spiciness, which is probably from the yeast, but you can definitely smell that traditional more be Belgian yeast fruitiness, fruity ester, but um, smells, smells pretty solid, so let's go to taste. Cheers. Oh yeah, taste is much better than the aroma. I was kind of underwhelmed by the aroma, but the flavor kind of makes up for it. <laughs> much sweeter in the flavor and a little more intense. Still not an amazing quadruple. I mean, it's really good, but it's not anything that's blowing my mind, but... Body is body -um. Body's medium. <laughs> uh, nice and creamy mouthfeel to it. A lot of sugary flavor. Uh, a lot of that dark caramel, dark toffee notes. Really sugary. Uh, definitely also, it's almost like a sugar coated kind of raisiny flavor in there. It's really, it's one of the most sugary <laughs> um, quadruples I've had. I can see why they call it Lux because it's so sweet. Um, Little bit, again, of that spicy, almost rye flavor, but I think that's from the yeast strain. It's got that spiciness. Uh, definitely also the fruitiness, the darker fruits, uh, the toffee notes, dark caramel. Um, wow, and a lot of like figgy raisiny flavor on the back end, but pretty decent amount of spice. Sweet malt, a little bit of a chocolatey note in there. But yeah, it's, it's a pretty good quadruple. Not my favorite in the Sinner series. Um, I prefer the gluttony so far. But this is still really good, and it follows the theme of Lost and being all sweet and that stuff. A little bit of an almost cherry flavor in there too, but... Rating-wise, I'm going to go straight up 80. It's a really good quadruple, but I could have used a little more of Belgian yeast fruity ester in there. I'd like more of that really intense kind of dark fruitiness and, and stuff like that. A little bit of that. The spice is maybe a little too much, and it's very sugary, but still, 
it works out fairly well. I mean, if you like the sweeter beers, you'd like this, but definitely not the best interpretation of a quadruple I've had, but still good stuff. So, um, yeah, that does it for the beer review of the Amon Cine series Lust. Still have the Wrath to review, and uh, we'll see what they're going to release next after that and get that reviewed too, because so far it's been a pretty impressive series from the guys at Amon. Uh, so yeah guys, remember to let me know what you think of the Amon Center series, Lust, if you've had it. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter, and I'm going to say cheers. I'm going to see you guys in another video.